Okay, so 7.2, as Sierra said, this is a point. <clears throat> a point has no dimension. It is usually presented by a small dot, like so. And you describe it as point A, just like it's given to you. Next one, a line extends in one dimension. It usually presents presented by a straight line with two arrowheads to indicate the line extends without end in two directions. That's what those arrows mean. Those arrows mean that they extend in both directions with no end. They will go on forever. Okay, if you have to write about a line, you have to tell me the name of this line. You will write line AB and you will put an arrow over the top. Does anybody know another name for the line? What is it? T. Line T is correct, and there's still another line, another name. Charlie. Yeah. BA. Correct. BA. You can rearrange the letters in a different order to also name that line. This is critical, though. I want you to circle it. You must draw the arrow over the top. You must have an arrow on both sides. You'll see why in a little bit. Okay, what is a co-pilot? <laughs> no, it's not in the notebook. <laughs> yes. Um, pilot's, assistant. pilot's assistant. Like he's next to him, right? You have a pilot, you got a co-pilot right next to him. So collinear means that they are on same, same line. Okay, so that's what collinear means. So collinear points are points that lie on the same line. Now, there, we don't have a picture for this, but I want you to draw a line. Let's make point C, D, and F. C, D, and F are all collinear. They are on the same line. That's going to be on the video. Okay, a plane extends in two dimensions. It is usually represented by the shape that looks like a table or a wall. Kind of see how what they mean, like this would be the top of a table. However, you must imagine the plane extends without end. So planes don't stop. We just have to draw a picture so that they do stop. Like, not do stop, but... So you can actually see it, otherwise it would just be a blank page. Okay, so this represents a plane. Like, this table is a plane. The window is a plane. The floor is a plane. You can imagine the floor extending forever. So it's a flat surface that goes in two dimensions. That direction and this direction, forever. That's two dimension. Okay, so this is a plane. These points represent a plane. You must have three points to make up a plane. So it takes three points now let's discuss why it takes three points. It takes three points to make a plane. If I use two points to describe a plane, what else could I be describing? A line. a line. I could describe a line with two points. You can't describe a plane with two points because you're only describing a line, an a, a area between two dots. Now, when I make three dots and they are not collinear, not collinear, they do not lie on the same line, those three dots must lie in the same plane. Now what's cool is it doesn't matter what you do. If like we does anybody know like those three D printers or something? Like they print in three D. You could literally, if I could hang a dot, hang a dot, and hang a dot, anywhere in this room, those three dots will make a plane. You can put a sheet through. Okay, so it takes three dots to make a plane. If we had to name this plane, we could call it plane. Let's go A B C. doesn't have to be an alphabet. It doesn't have to be in any order. The order of the letters does not matter. So we can give it another name. Plane. B. 
BAC, or I can call it plane M. M is not a point. It's naming the plane. See how it does not have a dot? Are we cool? Everybody got it? Okay. Remember, it takes three points to make a plane. Any three points can make a plane. But it does matter if you're talking about different planes. So let's look at this example. <clears throat> Give another name for the line. You can see that it has two arrows here. AB. What's another possible name for AB? Yep, oh, good. BA. Make sure you draw the arrows over the top. So critical. Our points A, B, and C coplanar. What do you think coplanar means? Same plane. So are A, B, and C all on the same plane? Yeah, this is a plane. They're all lying on that plane. Name the top plane. What do you say? DEF. Let's call it plane DEF. If you called it FED, that's correct. If you called it EDF, that's correct as well. The letter of these orders, the letter, the order of these letters do not matter. Are points D and C collinear? No, D is way up here in this plane. C is not even on the same plane. They are definitely not collinear. Does point F lie on DE? DE is this line going this direction. Point F is way over here. So the answer is no. What does this dotted mean? Uh, behind it. Good. Let's write that in. Behind the plane. So it's like the line is extending down, but it's giving you a visual image that it's going behind that plane. Better hurry up. Add, it's a different dimension than the plane, yes. The plane is in two dimensions. This line going down is the third dimension. So they are not in the same dimension. Set. Okay. Turn the page. Now we're on page two. Okay. <clears throat> the line A the line segment. AB is symbolized by AB with a line over it. Can now can we see why the arrows are important? If you don't draw an arrow, you're talking about a line segment. A line segment consists of endpoints A and B. And all the points on AB are between AB. So if I have line segment AB, if I'm talking about any points, they must be between the two of them, not outside of them because they don't extend. So AB. So I title this line. What's another way to name this line or this segment? Sorry, B A. So now it's critical that you have those arrows because now we're talking about something different. Okay, the ray A B is symbolized by A B, and I have an arrow on one side, dot on the other. Thank you. Consists the initial point A, and all points on A B that are on the same side of A and B. So A stops. My, my ray extends forever in this direction. So any points that fall on this ray must be between A and extending in this direction. They cannot fall on this side. If I had to name ray AB, it's A B dot arrow. The order in which you write these two does matter. A is where I start and I extend to B, just like it is in the picture. So the order of my letters must represent that. The name of this one is BA. Stop and extends in that direction. So the order in which I write these does matter. I start at B, my ray extends to A, just like here. 